All right, yes, this is a zero iron, but I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. One, two, three, and we are now connected and we are ready to swing. All right, we're gonna start with the gamers. That's right, the wedges. In fact, last year we went to California, we went to the Titleist plant where they make these and I had some fun grinding my own wedges with Aaron. But to see these things come to life, put them into play, I've had so much success with them this year. Let's start with this one try to get one in the basket. All right, so everyone has that one club in their bag. It's their go-to, obviously my money club. This is the club that I am using from about 80 yards and in without question. Doesn't matter the lie, I'm under a rock, I'm in the water, I'm in sand, doesn't matter. It's a confidence thing. Let's try to dunk it in this basket. Go! Oh. I'm gonna show you these other two because I've never had a 46 in the bag before. It's had the 60, 56 and I believe a 48. This is the Divot King. Yes, all hail. I deem myself the Divot King. If you guys watch the channel, you know why. You have to start a sod business. I'll give you guys a full swing here. Should be about my 125. One twenty nine, ball speed ninety eight. That's my one twenty five to one thirty club. This would be the last resort before I edge into the pitching wedge, which is at forty three degrees. So everyone's favorite driving range club, the seven iron, right? It's that feel good. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna show you the T three hundreds. This is going back now. I'd say about a year and a half. We were fit in twenty twenty one. Love my T three hundreds. I honestly have been playing some of the best golf of my life with my iron game, and it's because of these clubs. <laughs> That's a shot. That's a shot. What a shot. So let's smack one of these and try to get it in that normal 175 to 180 range. One eighty three. Gotta love that. One twenty eight ball speed launch angle. Hey, we got that high eighteen point four. So one eighty three. This is a go to club. We use this a lot. But I do want to show you those bent four and five irons. I won't show you both. You know what? I'll show you the four iron. And when we were out, the story is we were out at TPI in Carlsbad last summer. And when we were fit for the TSR driver and three wood, which by the way, just wait till you see the distance I'm getting from that drive. But when we were out there, Glenn, my fitter, he noticed I was slicing a lot of the four and five irons. He said, you know, with your swing, he's like, let me change the lie angle. Now, I have no idea the degree of what he bent it, but whatever he did works. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So here's the four iron. Again, T300 all the way through. I don't have a three, that's the hybrid. I'll show you that next. But here's the new bent four iron. And a lot of times I'm torn between the four and the hybrid because they have completely different flight paths. Yes, this will tend to go either straight or right. The hybrid, I could draw pretty easy. And guys, this is the fifth what's in the bag I've done on the channel. And there's another new thing in the bag that's new this year, which is tempo. If you've watched, you've noticed I've swing fast, but I'm trying to work on tempo. I know that's not equipment or anything in the bag, but it's part of my new golf game for this year. Let me know if you see a uh, difference. That was nice, 209, 138 on the ball speed. A little lower is 14.5. Beautiful, well-struck four iron right there. If I'm 200, 210 out, I'm gonna go here. When I'm 220, 225, and the three wood's just a little too much, and this is gonna come up maybe short in that green side bunker, that's when I use the hybrid. So let's take a crack with it now. now. You can see on the head covers, TSR, TSR, those are brand new. We were fitting those. I'm gonna show you those in a second. TSI has not been changed yet, the hybrid. Oh, see the uh, zero iron? Oh, I'll hit that next. I'll hit that next. It's, it's an interesting club, okay? I'll hit that in a second, and I'll tell you why I have that in the bag. Here's the TSI hybrid right here. I have it at an A2 setting. It's the TSI2 hybrid. If you saw 2022 what's in the bag, uh, you'll notice this was the same club in here. And like I said before, this is when I really got to stretch that 230 to 235. That's really getting it out there, 235. Normal, I'd say 225 is the, the sweet number for this club. Uh, sometimes I'm off the tee on this, sometimes, but not often. Rare usage on the hybrid. That was good contact. High ball flight there, 215. So I didn't get all of it. 215, I could probably get this another 10 yards. I hit that kind of high. But again, rare usage on this one. I'm most likely gonna be hitting that four iron in spots like this. I just feel more comfortable with it. All right, now the zero iron. I know, it's the 15 club in the bag. I normally don't take it out when I play. This is just something fun we've been carrying around. We had some fun doing a video of having amateur golfers hit John Daly's zero iron. And you can go check out that video if you missed it. 
had a lot of fun. And why I put it in the bag is sometimes there's really cool places on golf courses that allow to hit that fun stinger. I don't know why you're waiting on a tee box or whatever the case may be. So it's more of a gimmicky, have fun type of club. But I wanna hit it for you just to show you. Let's see if I can even get this thing over 200. The shaft on this, it's so shady. And this old grip, I hope this thing doesn't fly out of my hands. I always get nervous of that. All right, let's see what happens here. Whoa! 228! I don't know, maybe I should put this thing in the flight. No, that's the best I have ever hit it. I just uh, so happened to catch one really good on the screws there. 228 with 148 on the uh, ball speed. What a silly club. All right, now for the most exciting part of the bag. The brand new TSR, three wood and driver. I'm gonna hit the three wood now. And let me tell you something, I'm hitting both of these clubs so well. The forgiveness that I am getting in the driver especially, it's incredible. On miss hits, I could feel it. The ball still staying in play. And what we all want from that driver is more distance. The ball speed on this, I'm gonna try to dial it up. I'm gonna try to hit 167 to 170 on my ball speed for you guys, just to see if I could do it with this new club. Let's see. All right, so before I long drive champ my driver for you guys, I'm gonna show you the three wood first. So here we go, we got the hazardous 6.5, 80 gram shaft, and as far as the head goes, I'm at the 13 and a half loft, and the settings are at A3. I did not touch these from what the fitter put it in. This is how it came in the mail after it was ordered, and I have not played around with these settings, and I'm not going to, because I'm gonna show you why. All right, I hit a little behind that, but 237 which is not too bad. I mean, I rely on this club for about 240 to 250. So 237, uh, that was one shot. Let me give you guys another one. All right, I hit that one a little high. Got the ball speed up to 154 there and uh, 224. I lost a lot of yards because I hit it up high and it faded. But again, this club, it does get a lot of use, especially with the par fives, uh, starting to trust it more off the tee to keep the ball in play, trying to make this my fairway finder. But I tell you what, I've been having a lot of success finding fairways with the driver. So that's been my go-to right now off the tee. And I know, enough is enough already, Mike. Hit the driver, we wanna see the new TSR driver. Let's hit it. All right, well, here's the Scotty. I'm gonna show you the Scotty Cameron in a second, and then I'm gonna take you through. So stick with me. I'm gonna show you what's in the closet part of my bag. I'm gonna show you what I keep in the safe. I know I got all these catchy names for it. And then I'll show you the balls that I'm playing this year, as well as what's in that other kind of shady, hidden little pocket down there. Oh, by the way, the other thing in the bag are these custom tees. Check that out. How cool is that? The old Golficity logoed tees. Pretty cool, you know? So there you go, 165 on the ball speed. 265 is the carry. So as you can tell, I mean, that's pretty good. That's solid. I mean, I was coming into that fitting in the high 150s on ball speed, but hey, it's one shot. I know you guys are gonna kill me in the comments. One shot, Mike, hit another one. That one felt good. 164 on the ball speed. I hit it a little toey there, so I lost 10 yards, 255. But you can see that speed. Should I try for the 170? Should I try? I won't. One more, one more, one more, one more. <laughs> 169. Oh, I was so close. But hey, this club makes that possible. Love this club. By the way, on the driver, I didn't mention it, but uh, same 80 gram, 6.5 black hazardous. So the wood three wood and the driver shaft match. All right, so new bag this year. The Titleist Stay Dry Players 4 Plus. I'm loving the bag because of the compartments. Most importantly, I'm loving the lightweight. Remember, I have 15 clubs in here and I've got a lot of stuff in the pockets. This thing is super light. I wanna start with this first because this is one of the most exciting new things that happened last year and we're gonna continue to use it, but it is the customized Golficity Precision Pro NX10 rangefinder. When I say customized, check it out, guys. Here it is. So these things slide off. We did a whole review on these when they launched on our channel. There's so many different available options for other things. If you wanna do a coral, a camo, different colors, American flag, you just pop it on, you can customize it. I keep this one. It's got the enjoy the game here. Super cool. And what I love about this rangefinder, it's super fast. I'm gonna shoot this guy down the range right here. Boom, he's 22 yards away from me. All right, we're gonna start in the bedroom closet. 
all right? Easy place to start. This is this big pocket down the side. Now, we're in um, a cold part of the year up here in the Northeast. So I have this. Yes, there is no hair upstairs. So it gets cold and we need one of these. I leave that in there. I also keep in here the Beloved. I'm telling you, you are the man if you come on a cold, wet day with a pair of Foot Joy rain gloves. All your buddies in your group are gonna be super jealous. They've only got one glove on. These things are amazing. And also, by the way, which I, for some reason, they should be in the wrong pocket. I also keep a pair of the winter gloves when it gets even colder. The other one is in there, but these are thicker, warmer, and guys, you wanna be able to play golf more comfortably and shoot better, Yeah, you gotta stay warm. Also in here, the new Thermo series. This is just a throw over. It's super small, super light. And even under that, I always put this in here, which is a thermal undergarment. I know, that's why I call it the bedroom closet. There's a lot of stuff in here, but this stuff honestly folds up so small that I just shove it in here. Take this one, shove it in here. And this bedroom closet is now complete. This is my everything little zipper pocket here because I keep the keys in here. I keep the jack of spades in here. Yeah, I know, weird, right? My wallet is in there, the cell phone is in there. I don't need to take that stuff out. But this is that small pocket title is put here. Just so I know, I zip it up, I put it in there before the round, and at the end of the round, I'm not standing there, I'm going, like I always do, it's all right here. By the way, how cool is this logo? The Titleist asked what kind of logo we'd like to do. I mean, you've got the Titleist logoing on it on the sides, but right here is where you can get creative. I went with the white, gray black trim bag with the white logo with the black outline i just wanted to keep everything kind of similar in the color patterns i think it's pretty sleek those are the colors i like they match the ts um head covers things like that and just wanted to keep it all matching now the main pocket that everyone kind of just shoves all their junk in this is my ball pocket oh and a scorecard i wonder where this is from Ooh, la costa a little california memory dude we went low that day Wow, we did. Okay, um, so a couple of balls in here. I'm playing the Pro V1X. We did a ball fitting way back when they launched these. This is the ball that I was fit into. Absolutely love it. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit more and possibly another ball fitting coming up soon. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, because if you've never seen a ball fitting or even done a ball fitting, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty eye-opening. This little top zipper pocket, I call it the little shady pocket, it's small. And this is where I keep all of the tees, the divot stuff. Oh, what's this from? Look at that Black Wolf run at Whistling Straits. So there's some memory stuff in here, as well as speaking of memory stuff on the side of the bag here. It's two of my favorite things are two places we were at last year. Two great trips was Whistling Straits and then the Titleist Performance Institute. We went there uh, like almost back to back weeks. It was just an epic August last year. We had a lot of fun and uh, kept the memories right here. This other pocket on the other side, there's really not much in there. I have stickers in here. <laughs> Believe it or not, people will come up and say, Golficity, hey, love the videos, whatever. And I reach in the bag. If I've got stickers in here or stuff in here, I just like to hand them out to people. So if you see us on the range, say hello. I don't know, maybe we'll give you something. All right, this is Scotty. Here she is. I've had this one for a long time now. And I even posed the question on the last what's in the bag of, should I get a fitting? Is it time for an upgrade? And all of you in the comments were like, Mike, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I've had a lot of good putts, but again, have never been fit. So I just don't know yet if this is the right club for me. Anyway, it's great. It's the Newport 2, the select Newport 2, Scotty Cameron. Uh, I have no issues with it. So that might answer my question every time I ask that question. But I always wonder, I scratch my head, am I leaving anything on the table by not getting a proper putter fitting? So it's something I may have to think about this year, but for now, same one in the bag. It's starting to get really worn. Look at that. The Scotty part's getting all worn here. Uh, but hey, that's nothing I can't change out. All right, before I take a full swing with the Newport 2 on the uh, Rapsodo and try to get it over 200 yards for you, I want to tell you about the ShotScope. This is the stat tracking system that I use. I've used this for years, guys. You've seen it. If you're new to the channel, it does record every shot that I hit. I go back to the dashboard after the round. I see all my stats right there. It's pretty cool to have, and it makes you a better golfer. I mean, it's practicing with the purpose. It's playing golf with the purpose, and uh, it's super cool. So I keep that on me. I keep it in the bag. I charge it before I go out, throw it right in. All right, let's dial this one up to about 250 and see if we can get it there. No, I'm kidding. I would never do that to this thing, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Appreciate it. Until next year, we'll see you then.